أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome it's nine o'clock it's Friday and it means one thing business show and today as you know it's tax it easy tax it easy is a live show where we have the experts to tell us about what's happening in the world of tax and finance and uh, today it gives me great pleasure to welcome my guest. Tahir Beg from Beg Willisum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you? Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And pleased to be back once again. <laughs> once again. <Thank> you. <laughs> Absolutely. Always a pleasure Thank you. to see you. And of course, how can I forget my friend who regularly, regularly gates crash? <laughs> <laughs> Who will not let me on the air. <laughs> and when I'm not here, he takes over. Assalamu alaikum, Sammy. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu. Easy, easy, Tamkin. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Tax it easy. Yeah. Yeah. So today's program is about tax. And why? Because we had a budget in March. Mm -hmm. Then we had a new government. The government looked at the books, saw the financial difficulties and they were worldwide and so they had a, an emergency budget a mini emergency mm -hmm. budget and today what we'll be discussing is how does that affect individuals and especially businesses and especially startup businesses so in essence what's happening and I'm going to put it bluntly there is pain yes. in this budget and I say this uh, with uh, great sadness that is going to affect uh, all of us and some of this pain we have actually inflicted on ourselves. Mm. Uh, I mentioned to you in sort of March when we did the budget review at that stage that uh, there was a massive deficit. Yes. For the last physical year it's been established the deficit is about 155 billion Ooh. and going forward we are going to have deficit in the future years as well. So one billion is a hundred million. Well, something like that. No, I, I yeah. never got to those zeros. Is, is that right, Sammy? Yep. One what's billion. What's the tax on that? <laughs> on the tax <laughs> on a hundred <laughs> million pounds. It depends on your tax. Yes, uh, uh, if you that will definitely take you into the higher rate tax. So yes. you'll be a fifty percent taxpayer. Yes. That's right. Yeah, but really, on a serious note, it is it is going to be very painful. Mm. And one of the reasons why it's going to be painful and it's going to affect all of us is that the VAT. It goes up from 17.5% now to 20% on from the 4th of January 2011. And what's worse was they actually put VAT down temporarily mm. to 15. Yes. yes so yes. really, it's a jump from 15 to 20, in my opinion, because mm. they everyone got used to for a year paying 15% mm. mm. VAT. Mm. Mm. But uh, let's look at it. What can we do about mm. it? And uh, the if you are thinking of doing a loft conversion at home, for example, or thinking of buying a new suit, and now is the time to or do a car so. even, or even a car, yes. or a large, mm. uh, expensive goods, mm. uh, anything like that, which is considered to be a luxury, uh, and some people would say, well, buying clothes is not really a, adults' clothes is not a luxury, but all of those are going to be affected by VAT by an additional two and a half percent. Mm. So now is the time to do your shopping so that you can avoid at least that two and a half percent increase from the 4th of January. Oh, it's 4th of January, so it means January. January sales before the January, before Christmas. Is That's right, good around time about to purchase. that time, yes. And all those household goods which you might need as well, uh, washing machine and so on. So you can it's start stocking up, really. <laughs> yes, I suppose but, so. But yes. buy two ovens and two <laughs> fridges in case one goes wrong. Yes, yes. Help stimulate yeah. the economy. Yes, <laughs> get things moving, isn't it? Yes. But we should be careful on the other point. Yes. One of the reasons why we got into the mess that all of us have is that is plastic that friend, that of plastic ours. friend of us. Oh, yes. yeah. So we, we need to be mindful of that, that we don't want to just go out and borrow more or spend on credit cards. If we need to spend it and it's essential, then be wise and be sensible do it now yes. uh, and save that additional you know two and a half percent it doesn't mm. sound much but when you look mm. you're buying something for ten thousand pounds mm. or twenty thousand mm. or thirty thousand that really adds up 
two and a half percent, two and a half percent. Well, every little bit helps, yes, as they say. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as you say, two and a half percent on uh, additional two and a half. Yes, yeah. is it is it is quite substantial. Because at the end, it is twenty percent in total that you're paying. Yes, exactly. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's a substantial amount. Yes. But you know, there are things which uh, are still zero rated for VAT. For example, if you are buying children's clothes. Like I bought my children's clothes. Yes. I'm wearing them now. <laughs> That's why they look tight. <laughs> I went to Mama Care. Okay. <laughs> and so to say the VAT. <laughs> yes, I know the feeling. I do the same. <laughs> my shoes are very, very tight, I'm telling you. <laughs> Your wallet is very tight. <laughs> Absolutely. Children's <laughs> wallets. Children yeah. wallets. Yes, I bought children's wallets, so I wanted to pay the VAT. Uh, Duncan, you have a name. You are a tight man. <laughs> I yes. didn't care where I was by giving it away, <laughs> yes. even to the tax man, which I love dearly. Mm. We should all pay our dues, we should all pay our way. Yeah. It helps the economy, it helps people who are more needy than us. Mm. Mm. But we should only pay what uh, is uh, the legal requirement. Yes. I mean, tax, it says very clearly, if you can avoid pay tax through tax planning, it's quite legitimate. There's no harm in that. And that's well, why you're an expert in tax planning as well. Well, we try to make sure that the, you know, the community is aware of what is available in the market and to utilize that to the best of their uh, benefit and best uh, of their ability. Yes. And one of the things which we will mention here, we talk about tax, is that the personal allowance, which is the tax-free amount that each one of us can earn, is also going up from the 6th of April 2011 to 7,475, something like that. Ooh, almost a jump yeah. in 800 pounds, something. A thousand pounds, thousand actually, pounds. increase, yes. That's from very what good. The current, uh, current allowances. And uh, if somebody is running a business, that's what you can earn in the form of profits, or if you're working somewhere, that's what you can earn uh, on a tax-free basis, effectively, in the year. And that's where tax planning comes into play. If you were running a business and you have your wife or your husband working for you, they could be employed by the business and that is the amount which they could earn from the business mm -hmm. on a tax-free basis. That's very good. Or if they are running a business in partnership between the two partners, if it's a wife and husband partnership, it's 7,000 odd allowance for one partner, 7,000 for the other. You are mm -hmm. looking at 14, 15,000 pounds of profits which you can extract out of the business on a purely tax-free basis. And then also on the um, other taxes, the capital gains tax, mm -hmm. has, how has that gone up, stayed still or going down or what's happening with capital well, gains? F first of all, capital gains tax has gone up, but there were rumors that it would go up to 50 percent, but it hasn't gone up to 50 percent. It is, for a basic rate taxpayer, it is 18 percent. Mm -hmm. And if you're a higher rate taxpayer, it is 28 percent. Mm. So still, it is much lower than what the income tax rate is, which is 20 percent and 40 percent, and the top rate of income tax being 50 percent. So really, where, where it's possible, you should try and plan in a way that you are actually liable to capital gains tax, which will be at a lower rate, yes. rather than income tax, which is which is higher. And, you know, people have been talking about uh, second homes, we've heard about mm, the yes. MPs and so on. Purely from a tax angle, there is this uh, capital gain. So if you actually own a, se a second property yes. and you sell the second property, that property will be liable to capital gains tax, which is lower than the income tax. Right. And there's a bit of tax planning to be done here mm -hmm. because each individual is allowed to have a capital gains tax exemption of 10,100. Mm -hmm. So if you are a, a couple, a married couple, husband and wife team, you should own the property jointly or you have 